some conservation work and learn some rustic trail skills? Uh, doing trail work with Wild Corps, SCA. Get to travel around California working on all kinds of beautiful public lands. My cousin from Alaska decided to come down and see us and he said I want to be in the forestry service and I was bored with my life so I said well how do you do that and he gave me this website and so I did my own research and I found the SCA. Uh, <laughs> I, I had a friend who did SCA work and he really enjoyed it and I had really never looked into the SCA at all and I just signed up and uh, here I am and I, I gotta say it's uh, the more time I spend out here and the more of work that I do the more I learn, the more I grow as a person. I found out via internet, actually. I was just cruising around looking for a summer internship. I stumbled upon the SCA, and I was looking through. They have a, a really vast, like, their, their internships cover a very large ground. Well, coming here, I've never been to this part of, I've never been to the West, this part of the West. Uh, truly living in this kind of ecosystem, this is front country, what we're doing here with the trailer and all, but in some of the backcountry environments that we have, we have our society, us six people, and then the ecosystem. So none of us is the same, and the ecosystems aren't the same either. And everywhere we go, it brings out something new in us. And I like being out, but I won't deny that sometimes I like a shower every now and then. <laughs> I really enjoy just being outside, first of all, not cooped up. It's hard to beat uh, this as an office, of course. And mentoring, that's definitely the biggest challenge of this job, not the trail work, not living outside, but definitely mentoring because you have to bring these people who know very little, who are very new to the experience, and it's just one of me and five of them, four of them in this case. And you have to bring them along. You have to understand what they need to know and understand their limitations and their strengths. But that challenge is something that I really relish because I know I'm improving at it. I know I'm becoming a better leader. I know I'm doing a better job. It's getting citizen stewards created, this tie with the future generation and really bringing youth into the outdoors so that they understand the importance of not only the Pacific Crest Trail, but also public lands and what a heritage that brings to, um, to them. This is really uh, the first opportunity that a lot of these young people, young adults, uh, have to spend extended periods of time in the backcountry doing public service work. And they're at a period in their life where it really makes a difference when they have an experience that is rewarding, that binds them to public lands, to wild lands, and to doing work for other people, uh, to actually uh, see the value in their life of spending time and effort to do something, not just for themselves, but to improve the experiences of the American public as they use those lands.